Hi, my name is Janta Sunath from QA Training. This is part of a series of videos on how to use Excel more efficiently. This particular video relates to the Trace Dependence tool. The Trace Dependence tool will indicate which cells are affected if you change the value in the current cell. Let me open an Excel spreadsheet to demonstrate the Trace Dependence tool. Let's assume I need to change the value in cell E6. The current value in E6 is 34,000. And if I had to change this value, I want to determine which other cells will be affected by my change. Now, the best way to determine this is to trace the dependence of the cell, E6. So if I select cell E6 to start with, then visit my formula tab in the ribbon, go to my formula auditing group and locate the trace dependence tool. As I click on the trace dependence tool, Excel will then highlight those cells that will be affected. So if I change the value in cell E6, the value in E15 will change, the value in H6 will be affected and the value in I6. Now, these may not these may not be the only values that would change. If I go to the Formula Auditing tab again, Formula Auditing group, and click on Trace Dependence one more time, it will show me another level of dependence. So actually, if I change the value in E6, the value in E15 will change, the value in H6 will change, I6, H15, and C1 will change. So actually, by changing one cell, I'm actually affecting five other cells. So at first glance, it's not obvious which cells will change. So hence, the trace dependence tool can be a useful tool to determine which cells are going to be affected by your change. Now, you may be thinking, what if the dependent cell is in a different worksheet or different workbook? How, how would I be able to identify the dependent cell? Let me illustrate. If I take you to another workbook, let's assume in this workbook, I want to trace the dependent cell in cell C13. Now, C13 hosts my profit value. What if my profit value changes in this worksheet 2003 and the value in C13 changes? I want to determine which other cell will be affected or which other cells will be affected. So again, I make sure my cell C13 is selected. I go, the, I go to the formula tab, formula auditing group, and I trace dependence. Notice the difference. Rather than a solid blue line, I now see a dotted line with a spreadsheet symbol at the end. That spreadsheet symbol at the end will tell me that the dependent cell is in a different worksheet or different workbook. Now, if I click on that little spreadsheet symbol at the end, nothing really happens. It just selects the cell A11. So how do I get to the dependent cell? All you need to do is double click on the dotted line. As you double click on the dotted line, your go to dialog box will display. Select the address of the dependent cell and click OK. Once you click OK, that will take you to to the dependent cell. So the dependent cell is cell D2, and this cell D2 is in your summary worksheet. So if cell C13 changes in 2003, cell D2 will change in the summary worksheet. And that's what you'll see if the dependent cell is in a different worksheet or different workbook. I hope you found this video useful and could use the trace dependence tool when making changes within your Excel spreadsheet to determine the cells that are going to be affected by your change. Look out for other links on how to use various tools within Excel and to make your work processes in Excel more efficient.